Hi folks, it's Camille from Food Foraging Australia. If you like these videos, please consider liking and subscribing. Now, I am going to talk about this plant here, which is the blue hibiscus, or the Aleogni hugelii. This plant is related to the hibiscuses, and it's used medicinally. Now, it originates from Western Australia, but it's now grown all over Australia as an ornamental. Um, now, the the most distinct part of this plant is its beautiful bluish purple flowers. It looks very purplish on the camera, but it has a beautiful um, violet blue tinge. This plant is used medicinally. So just like the hibiscuses, it's good for um, high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Although you could argue that um, cholesterol is not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, for high blood pressure, you would use the uh, flowers of this plant. It is also, uh, there is some research that says that it's also uh, mucilage, which means that it helps moisten the um, upper airways and lower airways and also the uh, nose and throat. So to harvest this plant, you would just pick the flower and that's the part that you would use, the petals, and you can use the, uh, the stamens and things as well. Um, the leaves are used as the mucilage, and uh, when you touch the leaves, it'll feel very Velcro-like and slightly sticky, and it has these very distinct leaves with uh, thin, thin little finger-like projections there. Um, so yeah, this is the blue hibiscus, or the Aleogni hugelii, for high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Uh, there is a word of warning for, for females when using this. Um, hibiscus, all of the hibiscuses actually inhibit estrogen production. So um, you would just be uh, careful if you're, if you're female and you're using this. It can actually inhibit your, uh, your hormones. Um, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you again in another video. Happy foraging.